Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. I trust you are well and that you are having an amazing weekend. For the month of August, I will be doing all the zodiac signs, all the star sign readings, um, just to give you a clear indication of what can you maybe expect regarding your sun, rising and moon and venus signs we've got mercury retrograde in the month of august and we do have venus retrograde up until i do believe in september so with venus being in retrograde you might expect miscommunication misunderstandings in any type of relationship, friendships, co-workers, workers, um, family. <coughs> Sorry, and then with Mercury retrograde, we have got also misunderstandings, miscommunications, and technical problems regarding your laptop, your car, your phone. Normally with Mercury retrograde, the astrologists say, do not buy technical items in the sense of TVs or phones during this period of time. Normally it happens, um, I do believe, three times a year. So, yeah, that is basically just a little bit of information about the astrology um, of the month of August 2023. Okay, so let's see. Cancer. Now we're going to do Leo, 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 timestamp. Okay. Leo, 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 Leo. We've got the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Awesome. So that is basically saying, Leo, you are feeling currently. A sense of wish fulfillment, happiness, stability, um, enough. You're feeling enough in your current life situation. You're feeling balanced, you're feeling stable. Did you see? Yeah. Recent past, we've got the Five of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. If this is regarding a love relationship, it's basically saying to me, Leo, um, you have decided to move on from a person, place, or situation. Um, this person possibly have a lot of regret and remorse. It can be in a job situation as well. It can be in friends, family, or love. And you have decided to move on um, to something bigger, to something better from the Five of Cups. It's like you got in a certain area of your life a new beginning. A door has opened up for you. That's what you see. Uh, Ten of Wands, Four of Cups, the Sun. You came into your own reading with the Sun. This is basically saying to me in the month of August for you, Leo, is that with the Four of Cups, it's saying, yes, have a look around. Um, don't be too long, too stagnant within a certain area of your life. It's asking you to reach for the sun within your own energy. Like I said, you came into your own energy, your own card. Reach for the sun wherever you are. Reach for the goals. Reach for the aspirations. Um, yes, it has been tough with the Ten of Wands. It has been difficult. But we've got completion. We've got completion with the number 10. Saying done, dusted. We've done it. It's completed. And we've got the lovers and we've got the star. We've got a lot of majors. Two of Wands. Option and choice of two people, two situations, two jobs, 
to um, social events, for example. So, receiving the recognition in your family, in your home, in your work. <coughs> it's about time. It's about time. And with the lovers, it's basically saying self-care, self-love is very important to you in the month of August. Self-care, self-love. If you're in a love relationship, it's showing me a lot of positivity. Um, and I'm really, really glad and grateful for that. Regarding love relationships, friendships, and family. Um, it feels positive. It looks positive. Yes, you have endured a lot with the Ten of Wands. This is now for everyone that's got a Leo placement within their astrological birth chart. For example, my Leo placement is in my um, Venus. And Venus is currently in retrograde. <laughs> so with Leo, yes, it has been difficult. But the thing is, we've got the star. We've got the sun. We've got the lovers for you, Leo. And we've got the ace of pentacles. This is like shouting and screaming, opportunities, aspirations, goals, happier times. Positivity, um, being you, being you. And some Leo people might decide to move away from a work, family, or home situation, might move state. Um, I'm not currently seeing a lot of delays. Um, in that department, but I would suggest if you are planning on a move, um, use strategy um, regarding your move to prevent delays um, regarding the move or the travel. Let me see what God does Leo need to know. Courage. Mm -hmm. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. It took a lot of courage for me. I can I can resemble with this. It took a lot of courage recently with my Leo placement in love. It took a lot of courage. And a Leo person, I have to be honest with you, a Leo person is a very courageable person. They have got courage like no tomorrow. Um, they have got strength like no tomorrow. A Leo person. I take my hat off. Five of Swords. Swords. We've got Sugar Light as well with the Five of Swords. Sugar Light. I will heal myself. This is like the strength card. This five of swords with the gemstone and crystal for you for the month of August was super light. It's saying, it says, I will heal myself. But it is saying, Leo, that you are a healer. You have got healing abilities to help other people, to assist other people, to listen to other people. To understand other people. Um, and with sugar light, it's basically saying to me as well, it feels earthy. It feels in a sense of groundedness. Groundedness. So you see with the I Ching card, what do you need to know, Leo? What do you need to know? Okay. We've got 53 and 58 that wanted to come out. Gradual progress and opening. 53 and 58. 
gradual progress. Good fortune, constant, constancy bears fruit. Okay, so Leo, it is asking you in the month of August, how can you be more patient? Gradual progress. How can you be more patient? Opening, creating success. Constancy bears fruit. Same as this. Constancy, constancy bears fruit. Now it's asking the question, Leo, how can you fully enjoy the moment? How can you fully enjoy the moment? What can you communicate more freely, openly? I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> Virgo. For the Virgo peoples. Okay. Virgo, Virgo. 